In this video, we're going to take a look at set interval and we're going to look specifically at what the default delay is. Recently, I was using set interval and I was looking through the docs here on MDN, Mozilla Developer Network. And one of the options that you can pass to this set interval function, which um, basically repeats a certain process over and over, runs some code or a function over and over again based on the delay that you pass it. Um, and I was looking into the delay. I wanted to see what the default delay was. And they don't really explicitly say what the default delay is here. So um, I kind of figured that if you don't specify a delay, this right here, it's in milliseconds, so this would be 500 milliseconds. If you don't specify a delay, then it would just be zero, or it'd be the next time that the event loop runs. Um, and I wanted to test this. So in here, if we go ahead and say set interval, um, and let's assign a variable here so we can say my interval is going to equal set interval and then the code that we run in here we can just do a console log here okay i'll just do something simple and then down here this is where our delay is going to be okay so if we do like a 300 millisecond delay then we can run this and you can see it's kind of stacking these up every 300 milliseconds um if i i can clear interval and it's going to stop that okay so now it's not going to do that anymore um, if i did the same thing i could also set this to like uh 3000 milliseconds and that is already declared so we can get rid of the let here okay so this is going to run every three seconds now so uh, a lot slower than before, just so we can see how that's going to work. Um, and then I can clear this again if I want to. Let's clear that out so it's going to stop. And now what we can do is if we want to test this out without any interval passed, then this is going to be the default. So um, we're not truly seeing what the default is if we just run this, but we're going to see this really just stack up um, a lot right here. Okay. So we can kind of guess from this that it's defaulting to zero milliseconds or probably one millisecond, the, the next iteration of the event loop, but we don't, don't really know for sure. Okay, so you can see it kind of goes so fast that it's like still spewing this out to the console afterwards. So let's clear this out. And the way that we can know is we can use console.time. Okay, and so console.time what it does is it takes a key um, which, which we can say is interval let's just call it int so it's easier it takes in a key and then it allows you to basically um, set a timer and the next time you run this uh, timer again then it's going to and actually to start it's going to be console start or time start let's see what this is it's going to be time, I see, so to start it, it's time, um, and then we can log in the middle when we want to log something and end if we want to end it, okay? So here would be this int, this would start our timer, and then if I say console.time uh, log here, int, then this is going to tell me how much time has passed since I previously ran this function. It's probably in milliseconds. Right, so it's 13,000 milliseconds, so it's 13 seconds. Um, and then the same thing, if I run this again, it's going to tell me again. So now it's been 23 seconds since I first ran it, and so on and so forth. If I run it right after the other, you can see it's kind of a one second differential. And then if I want to end this, then you can see the total timer ended there. Okay, so we can use this functionality to see. Um, what the default delay is on set interval. So what we can do is we can set a counter. Um, we can set our own counter. 
So let's say counter equals zero. And every time, let's think about how we should do this. Um, we want to run this interval probably, we don't want to run it too much, but we want to run it a few times. So let's say that um, every time the interval runs, we'll, in, we'll increase that counter. And if the counter reaches 10, so we can run it 10 times, if the counter reaches 10, then we'll clear the interval. And then we can see how long it took for each uh, of those timers to run. So let's say console.time. Um, and we can we can just check the difference so we don't have to run this time uh, like the next logs of our times really fast. So let's say console time and we'll say interval. Okay, so it's starting the timer now. And then we can set this interval. Um, we can say, did we have my interval, right? So we can say my interval equals set interval and then within here we're going to pass this callback and in this callback we can say console dot time log and this is where we're going to log our interval okay so each time it's going to tell us how much time since we first started this which will be big but we can look at the differences between all of them and then down here oops Okay, well we could just end the <laughs> end the interval now. I didn't mean to do that, but this is going to give us a lot of good data points. Um, so now we can say clear interval, and this is going to be my interval. Boom. Okay, so now it's going to stop. So now we can see we didn't end up using the counter at all, but we can see all of these times. Looks like it ran probably thousands of times in that time that I was talking. Actually, thousands of times per second. So it probably ran uh, tens of thousands of times, maybe 100,000 times. But anyway, we can see the exact difference um, for each of these intervals. And so it looks like it's coming out to, here's five milliseconds, here's an eight millisecond, or excuse me, four millisecond difference, um, five millisecond difference, five millisecond difference, four, five, four, four, five, so it's pretty consistent four to five. Um, and so we can kind of come to the conclusion that the, that indeed my, my prediction was correct, that it's really just running the next time the event loop hits. So if you don't pass a default delay to your set interval function, it's just gonna run basically like if you do a set timeout zero, um, then it's just gonna run the next time the event loop hits. So it looks like it's taking the event loop about four seconds to run, uh, excuse me, four milliseconds or five milliseconds uh, from time to time. And it kind of oscillates in between these two. And you can see this continuing, continuing on down here, but <clears throat> that is set interval. The default delay looks like it's zero. Um, and then in, in practice, it ends up being four or five milliseconds. And that's also a quick rundown on how to use console.time, uh, console.time log, and console.time end. Um, so hopefully that helps out. That's just something that I learned recently, and we'll see you in the next video.